What is a mystical experience? What makes them so sought after and rare? And how can you increase your chances? Today, we're gonna to be looking at a study that tells us just this. Let's explore. experience from psychedelics or ketamine? Well, let's turn to the research. Uh, there is an ex a questionnaire called the Ponky Richards Mystical Experiences Questionnaire. And this is the way that uh, different studies and institutions measure the type of mystical experiences that their participants have. So there are seven categories. The first is internal unity. So there are many ways that each of these seven categories can be manifested, but I'll just give a few examples. One is an experience of becoming pure awareness or pure being. The next category is external unity. So that's seeing that everything is one or encountering God or other divine beings. The third is transcendence of time and space, encountering infinity or eternity or stepping outside of time, or being in a different place. The next section is ineffability and paradoxicality. The ineffable is that which you can't put into words. You had to be there. <laughs> paradoxicality is seeing two contradictory things that are somehow simultaneously true, and knowing that to be the case. We have a sense of sacredness, a sense of amazement, of awe, of reverence, of being at a spiritual height. In the next category, we have noetic quality. And a noetic quality is a sense of deeply knowing something. Perhaps you encounter something that you know to be more true than your everyday waking consciousness, perhaps encountering ultimate reality. And in the final category, we have deeply felt positive mood ecstasy, joy, tenderness, compassion, encountering infinite love. All of these categories make up different types and qualities of mystical experiences. And these are deeply held, profound experiences that can impact you for the rest of your life and that you can hold with you. You can find the link for the mystical experiences questionnaire uh, below in the description. And that's the case for all of the studies that I'll be referencing today. So what makes these mystical experiences on psychedelics so special? I mean, beside the fact of that they just sound amazing, two main reasons. The first is that in a follow-up study for psilocybin trials at Johns Hopkins, 14 months after their experience, two-thirds of the participants describe this as one of the top five most important meaningful experiences of their entire life up there with the birth of their first child or the death of a parent that is profound a third of the participants said that this was the single most meaningful experience of their entire lives 14 months afterward after their single experience let that sink in for a moment. The most significant experience of their entire life. This is profound, profound stuff that we're talking about here. These medicines are so sacred, and this is why cultures have revered them for millennia. The next reason is that mystical experiences are highly correlated with very positive outcomes from these studies, whether we're talking about anxiety at end of life, depression, smoking cessation and addiction. Mystical experiences are one of the best ways to tell if you're gonna have a positive outcome. Is it the only way? No, there are other experiences, challenging, deeply transformative experiences and other kinds as well, which also are helpful. But the mystical experiences have a particular potency that uh, make them somewhat mythical in, in their reputation. 
The other side of mystical experiences is that they're not guaranteed. Not everyone has them, which is another reason they're sought after. Not only are they powerful, amazing, transformative, helpful, but you don't always get to have them. It's like receiving grace when you get a mystical experience from a psychedelic or ketamine. Today, we're gonna to talk about a study which shows us some factors which can increase your chances of having a mystical experience with ketamine or if you're in a research trial with other psychedelics. In this study, which was specifically using ketamine, 85% of the experiences were mystical. That is an incredible success rate. So how did they do it? It was a very intensive process. Over the course of six weeks, each patient either was an individual therapy or group therapy. In addition, they were on a whole plant-based diet, fasting from alcohol, caffeine, sugar, and other processed foods. They were meditating daily, exercising daily, sometimes journaling, spending time in nature, uh, limiting screen time, and in addition, they were contemplating the nature of the self and the nature of God, reading different spiritual literature. If you want to increase your chance of a mystical experience, this is some amazing advice for how to do it. I do have it on good authority that there is a good chance that you don't need to do the full six weeks. Of course, the longer you do it, the more deeply you commit yourself, the better your chance. But if you do just half a week to a week of doing each of these things daily, two weeks of course better, but half a week to a week minimum, you're going to really increase your chances of a mystical experience and a sacred, profound gift to yourself for the rest of your life. And of course, the final piece is dosage. Mystical experiences tend to emerge on high dosages. So you want to be in a safe set and setting with a the therapist where you are going to be safe where you can fully let go into the experience where you figured out your body's sensitivity and you can get the right dosage. And remember to always be evaluated by a medical provider, a psychiatrist, a doctor, and follow their directions in order to be fully safe and in this process. This advice, of course, most likely applies to other psychedelics as well. So psychedelic researchers, take note if you want to increase your, your outcomes. None of this is guaranteed. Uh, and always remember to come to a psychedelic or ketamine experience from a place of openness, trust, and curiosity. Surrendering to whatever comes and trusting that exactly what you need is the experience you're being given. That is the foundation for everything. There is one other underground technique that has been used for getting, uh, having a higher chance of mystical experiences, but that's gonna require its own video and uh, that will be coming later. The gifts of ketamine are so many and if you feel the calling, I'm excited for you, whether or not you have a mystical experience, to journey forward in your own life Together, we have so much more knowledge. Share your wisdom with the community and comment. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you want more psychedelic therapy content. And may your journey be blessed with guidance, protection, and strength.